I love that nothing else matters. If I want to spend some more time at home or just have some like downtime, I can just say, I just want to be with my girls and that's totally acceptable. My mom is adopted. That was always part of her story, which became part of my story. Since it's been so natural to our family, I've always just thought, well, that'd be kind of cool if I could do the same thing that my Mimi did with mom and not really for Thomas Rhett because he's just never been close to it. And so when we got married, I brought it up and, and he never said no, but he was just like, yeah, that's interesting. He was like, yeah, maybe. So when I started traveling with the organization that I'm on the board of, we went to Uganda for the first time and met Willa Gray. And I took a photo with her and sent it to him that night. I said, this baby, she's a true orphan. You know, she has no family. We know so many people back home that are looking to adopt. I said, we can find somebody. I've got to find a home for this baby. And without even hesitating on the phone, he said, we'll do it. We'll take her. And I was like, what? I was like, wait a second. But he was just so confident in it. I love that that it started with him because so much of me wanting to adopt, I always felt like it was more me. And he just jumped right on the train and we just never looked back. Ada is so quiet. I mean, she's just got such a very calm personality. She's such a good baby and she's sweet and she's calm. But, you know, five, almost six month olds, they do need quite a bit of attention. So juggling that has been kind of hard because Willie Gray is wild and running around. And she, I remember the first day I thought I put a big bow on the baby and we were going somewhere and, and Willie Gray kept saying, uh-oh, eyes, uh-oh, eyes. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, what did you do? Did you like, and I'm like trying to get my hand back behind to like feel the baby. And she goes, eyes, eyes, hair, uh-oh, oh no, oh no. And I was like, what is happening? Freaking out. And so the baby, had a bow on her head and it had worked its way down and was completely over her eyes and she was like kind of, you know, trying to get it off of her eyes, but Willa Gray was trying to help her. And so from then on, she tells me if something's ever wrong, she wants everything to be perfect with the baby. She's always wanting to help her. If, even at two, she's already so protective and sweet and she just takes care of her. And I'm just praying that she keeps loving her the way that she does because she's so sweet. But they work so well together. You know, if, if, so, if the baby is ever crying and we can't figure out how to fix it or make her, you know, calm down a little bit, my first line of help is always like, where is Willa Grace? I've done both now. I've had one through adoption, one biological. And the process of getting them both here was the most emotionally draining. I've never in my life been that exhausted on but with both and thinking I can't do this. But it's pain with the purpose. You know, you're bringing your child into the world. And the same with Willa Gray, not necessarily physical pain, but there was more pain bringing Willa Gray home than probably Ada James. It's a different kind of pain, but also pain with a purpose. Both though, not sure how it's gonna end. You know, so many things can go wrong in both situations. I think it's good. It's good to have to fight for your kids. It just makes you a better mom and dad. And I know it brought Thomas Rhett and I so much closer together than we ever have been. And you just trust that whatever's supposed to happen will happen. And I'm blessed to have family and friends close by that want to come over and kind of be my extra set of hands. It is more than worth it. And I would do it over and over and over again to get them here. <laughs>